Well, a prominent West Sacramento street is getting a new name, and that's creating a little bit of a nuisance for some people who live there. Now, the move forcing more than 100 people to change their address. Tonight, we're getting answers on why the Bridge District Street is being renamed. It's the most scenic street in West Sacramento, the Tower Bridge Gateway. This two mile stretch of roadway starts at the waterfront and continues past the River Cats ballpark. But now this picturesque path is getting a new name the Christopher L. Cabaldin Parkway. Who is that exactly? Ash Francis has lived in West Sacramento for six years and doesn't think the current name should be changed. I mean, I like Tower Bridge Gateway. You know, it's kind of a landmark thing. Christopher Cabaldon is West Sacramento's former mayor who served on the city council for 24 years. He's credited with overseeing the transformation of the city, including revitalizing the waterfront and bringing the baseball team to town. He was the quarterback that led us to the place that we're at today. His leadership shaped major changes within our city. He's also been a role model for the LGBT community, announcing he was gay at the State of the City address in 2006. And in a 4-1 to one vote Wednesday, West Sac City leaders approved renaming the street in his honor. He served uh, in a way and in a, in the vision that the city will be thankful for for years to come. Only not everyone supports the name change. This guy is not an icon. He's not a god. I think they should keep the name, honestly. Francis's apartment is located on Tower Bridge Gateway. Now he and everyone else in these 78 units will have to change their addresses on driver's licenses, bank statements, and all the other accounts that come by mail. You had to call companies and it makes it a household. The city says it sent letters to all 78 apartments and did not receive any complaints. Francis says he thought it was just a survey. People are just kind of looking out and going, oh, well, how's this going to affect me? And it's like, well, we don't really know until it happens, right? Well, if the folks that lived on that street didn't know his name before, they will certainly know it now. Cabaldon is currently out of the country and did not attend this week's city council meeting, but he says he does support that name change.